Hi again. Some of you may have seen a video I did the other day on carving pink rocks to make uh, limestone. Uh, today I'm going to try to show you how to uh, add paint to those pink rocks. Uh, I've already gone and covered them all with uh, a base coat of this uh, deck paint. It's a water-based deck stain actually that I got at a garage sale for three dollars. Uh, it's about the right color so uh, what I wanted for this so uh, it works out pretty well. Uh, I just paint it on and then use uh, a spray bottle with some water. I use uh, wet water which is uh, water with a little bit of dish soap and some uh, alcohol in it. It, uh, it seems to work best for spreading the paint out uh, so it's not too thick. You don't want to cover all your nice uh, details that you just did with uh, real thick paint. These are the kind of paints that I use. I uh, get them primarily at Hobby Lobby and those type of stores. Uh, just acrylic uh, colors. Next uh, I'll show you, this is the foam that I carved the other day in the video. First thing I do is I'll take a, a very watered down acrylic and in the deeper recessed areas put in uh, a little bit of this very thin and then use some of that wet water and spread it out with a brush and that just highlights the the darker areas and then after that is dried for uh, a good while it needs to be fairly dry then I'll come and do the next step with the paints Here I've got some paints ready to go. Uh, this is the uh, effect that I'm trying to get. Uh, if you look in here, you can see that uh, in this limestone cut uh, along the road, there's a, uh, several layers here uh, of limestone that is more gray. And you've got some kind of uh, brown or orange uh, highlights and yellows and then uh, there's some staining here which uh, I think is probably a sort of like mildew from moisture and so on. Uh, you can see how dark this crack is where a, a tree is even growing in it. But these are the colors I'm going to try to simulate here on the rock face. And this one I've already got the darkened areas done. Going to now take some color going to start with that gray line try to put uh, a layer similar to what I saw in that picture there and put in the gray and then some of the kind of gold or yellows just kind of blotch them in different places just a little bit of paint don't need very much And some of the browns. Then I'll take a, uh, a dry brush and spread those out. If the colors don't seem to be spreading out enough take a little water, spray it, and that'll tone them down a little bit. Okay, so there we've got that. Uh, next, um, to try to get some of those darker stains, like this one right here. After the paint is fairly dry, come back with some more of this watered down acrylic. 
and put that in places and just kind of let it run down there. Kind of like that. And uh, if it's not running enough, you could take a brush and help it out. But I kind of like the, the way that one looks right there. So I'm going to leave it. The uh, Over here I've got a bowl full of chips that I made with uh, just cutting off some chunks of, to simulate rocks, limestone rocks that I have chipped and weathered off. And I'm, I'll be eventually using these at the base of the at the base of the uh, rock ledge to uh, simulate rocks that have fallen down. Then the last step, well, I'll let everything dry again. Uh, it's best if you can let it dry overnight. Take a, a light gray or white and do some highlighting. And this is a, a technique called dry brushing. Get some white or light color paint. And you can use uh, these fancy kind of whisker brushes. Or I just, on this kind of thing, I just use uh, you know, one of these that's kind of beat. You, what you want to do is get most of the paint off of it by rubbing it onto uh, something and then just come along and just touch the very edges of the rocks. This is to simulate sunlight and uh, you can even take a brush then and brush it off in there. You just want just a hint on the corners and the edges of the rocks. Sort of like that. And uh, it's surprising how much that will uh, make the rocks pop and, and show up much better. Well, uh, thanks again for watching. I hope uh, you found this helpful. Uh, I'm going to be putting these back together now and putting them on the bench or back on the layout, back in the section where that blue is showing through there. Uh, but uh, that's it. Thanks.